Hello, my name is Tasmaya Vasquez, and I am proud to be transsexual. Um, what I want to do in this video, I dare all of my brothers and sisters, my trans brothers, my trans sisters, to post videos and to basically show your pride for being transsexual and transgender. Um, you know, I think that a lot of us are the black sheep of America, you know. The fact is there's 10% um, of the population is homosexual, and there's a fact that they do not consider transgenders or transsexuals in that 10%. So there's probably 3% of the population are transsexual transgenders. So I think that if we all stand up together and we get out there and we show our support to each other and we show the world that we're not afraid to be who we are, I think that it will help to build tolerance. Um, you know, I'm not doing this video, and I encourage people who are making a video to make any videos to bash anyone. You know, for those of you who stand against you, for those people who do not like you for being transgender, for those people who bash you every day, verbally assault you, you know, just send them love. Pray for them. You know, one of the prayers that my mother always taught me and what my mother always told me is that you could never fight fire with fire. Someone do something bad to you, just pray. Pray. And when you pray, you let God take care of them because God can take care of people better than you can. And this is what I do. When someone curses me out, when someone do something bad to me, um, whether it's on the net, whether it's in person, whether somebody's dogging me or someone lied on me, someone lies to me, when I pray, I pray for my family, my friends, my enemies, and those who stand against me. And what I always say is God bless them. Bless them like they bless me. Those who gave me a helping hand when I needed it, help them, God. Those who, you know, cussed me out, curse them out too. You know, give them what they give me. I bless them. I so let it be. And that's what I do. And that's what I always say to a lot of you. Because someone do not like you, and a lot of transgenders, they get this so messed up. They get this so twisted. Rest in peace for you who are not here right now. Um, but I know your spirits are here. Some transgenders are not here today, not because they're transgender. They're not here because they were transgendered and someone called them out, called them a gay faggot, called them whatever, and they, being slick in the mouth, sent them back, and that person got mad and killed them. You know, I can think of one big story that happened in New York City. You know, a transsexual was called out. You know, she was called out by a group of boys. Actually, it was a guy. She, the guy called her out. I guess she didn't like the fact that he called her out, so the guy got a knife and slit her throat in front of hella people. And this this lady, this transsexual, sits there and she dies. And God rest her. But if she would have just let it go, you know, oh, well, he clocked it. Move forward. Because not everybody's going to see you as a woman. Not everybody's going to look at you and acknowledge you and respect you as a woman. Um, and you just have to just learn that and move on. And... She didn't. By a slip of her tongue, her life is over. And me, I learned that you have to pick your battle. And that's what I'm telling one of my beautiful sisters out there, you know, Tella. You know, she was talking about, you know, some transsexual not here. They're in the dumpsters because they're, they don't know when to shut up. They talk, whatever. I personally, I believe that. But see, I pick my battles right because... I'm not saying that transsexuals won't kill each other because there's plenty of stories that I heard of transsexuals killing each other. Plenty of stories of behind jealousy, behind boyfriends, behind one is more beautiful than the other. I heard of those stories. Um, but what I'm saying is if a straight person called me out, which that don't happen, but if a straight person called me out, the only thing I would do is block them, ignore them. I would not argue back with them because of, obviously he's talking because He's not comfortable with himself. So, of course, he's going to talk about it. Of course, he's going to try to make you feel stupid and, and not worthy because he feels this way, and to him, he thinks it's wrong, and he don't want to feel that way. So he want to call you all the names that he thinks he would be considered if he openly liked you. 
And that's why I think it's so important to just let it go. There have been many of times, and in fact, I think you can embarrass yourself. You know, when I first started doing this, I went to my local community college um, in 2006 when I first started dressing, when, when I first started taking my hormones, and I really started dressing really, really provocative. Because at first when I dressed up, I used to dress all conservative and stuff, and I was told that when you dress conservative, you look older, and I didn't want to look older. So I wanted to look younger, and I said, well, if I want to look younger, i got to dress sexier. And so I remember I went to school to sign up for school. I was going to go to a, a, a community college and then transfer to the University of Pacific, which everyone should know is the, the number one uh, university on the West Coast. It has the best of the best professors. Everyone who graduates from there get, like, good-paying jobs. I mean, there's some well-known people who went to the University of Pacific. Um, and I wore my jeans. You know, made my butt look bigger, wore my two-inch snake skin boots, really nice, tied my shirt up. I had a push-up bra. Um, I had a little bit of flesh there, so I used to put water balloons in my titties and make them look bigger. Did my hair, curled my hair, did my makeup. I was looking so nice. I felt nice. Um, matter of fact, when I stood out, when I got out the car to start walking through the gate, there was a group of um, Hispanic people. I don't know if they were Mexican. I don't know if they were Puerto Rican, Dominican, whatever. Um, but there was a group of Hispanic people. And the guy looked at me, and he said, uh-oh, little Tyra, little Tyra. And that's what he said. And my mom was like, you know, he's over there calling you little Tyra. And I'm like, ooh, okay. Walk through the gate, and there's, I'm in the middle of the yard, and there's hella kids whistling. <laughs> Damn, hot mama, whoo, I'm hearing all these noise, blah, blah, blah. And there's a group of black people, okay? It's uh, three black girls, two black guys. And the first person to call me out was this short, bitty, dark skin, ugly-looking black girl. Very ugly, short, nasty-looking. And she said, I think that's a man. And the two guys were like, no, I don't think so. And while I'm walking, I'm hearing all this because, it, I mean, I, I'm, I have to go into the door right by where they were at. And I'm just hearing this. And then they were like, the girl was like, I think that is. And she was like, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, nigga, cut it out. Like, kept saying that, cut it out, dude, cut it out, dude. And I'm just all like, what the hell? But I'm saying this because I ignored them. I went through them, went into the thing, did what I do, come out. I didn't care, I ignored them. Let me tell you something. I would have said something back. I would have probably been on the ground. There was five of them. There was three big old black girls. And there was two big old black guys that looked like gangsters. I would have been laid out. I probably would have been stabbed, shot, anything, you know. And so that's what I'm saying. You have to learn how to pick your battles. You cannot go around fighting everybody because not everybody's going to like you. Just like you being Muslim or you being Christian. Some people are not going to like you because you're Muslim or you're Christian. You can't fight them because they don't like you. You can't cuss them out. And that's what I said. A lot of us, we need to just learn that we're not invisible. We are not untouchable. We are touchable. We are visible. And if we want people to respect us, we got to respect ourselves and we got to respect them. They don't like us, let them express it. Just ignore them. Move away. Do what you need to do. And I actually had a boyfriend, you know, Carlos. I don't know if you're watching this, but Carlos, you know, when we went to certain places and I used to wear like foreign titles and stuff and people, they would look, you know, it made Carlos pissed. Because, you know, he's like, I don't understand, baby. You're, like, really beautiful. I love you, blah, blah, blah. And then all the people that are looking at you, they're treating you like you're, like, not even human. And he was getting mad. So he really tried starting to fight a fight with everybody, really. Like, really tried to start fighting, start a fight. And I remember at a grocery store that's not too far from here, this guy, um, like, walked up. And he said, I'm not trying to be rude. I guess he thought I wasn't with him. And he's like, I'm not trying to be rude, but are you a man or a woman? And Carlos got pissed, and they was fighting in the grocery store. Police was called. We had to leave the store. I was pissed. He went to jail for a little bit um, for assault or whatever. The, the guy pressed charges. So like I said, y'all, just pick your battles wisely. Love yourself. You know, love God. God loves you. He created you. You're not a mistake. You know, and forget everybody else. Let them hate you. Oh, well, let them hate. Love yourself. You're important. They're not going to give you that high school diploma. They're not going to give you that job. They're not going to pay your bills. Those are not the ones that are supporting you as a transsexual. So let it go. Let them be ignorant. The old saying is the, the, the dog with the loudest bark is the one with the, with the less bite. 
remember that. 